Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a short mini series that I created consisting of one message of gratitude each day during the Thanksgiving week. So last week I drove uh, down to LA and back and I can't tell you how good it felt to be home. I love our small town. Having lived here almost 30 years, I sometimes reminisce on how small town it used to be. And as we see all the building and growth, I I lose a little bit of uh, that perspective. And visiting LA with about 4 million people really put it back into perspective for me. I'm so grateful for the kind community we live in, smiling at strangers and they smile back. I'm grateful for the trees, the open space, and nature that surrounds us. I truly love where I live. And if you plan to travel this week, I hope you will be as excited as I was to come back home because it's so good to be home. Hi and happy Tuesday. Today I'm sharing my gratitude for Mother Nature and the signs of the changing seasons. We really are lucky to experience all four seasons from our hot sunny summers to the multicolored and falling leaves to the rainy days and weeks ahead, lightning and thunderstorms, and even the occasional dusting of snow, along with the appearance of spring buds and green grass on the hillsides. These are truly magical moments in nature, and I'm grateful for every day. Hi guys, it's the day before the big feast, and I wanna take a moment to honor the local charities that take care of the families, elderly, hungry, and homeless in our community. Thank you to the El Dorado County Food Bank, to New Morning Youth and Family Services, to CASA, to Twin Lakes Food Bank in Folsom, to the Placer Food Bank, and Loaves and Fishes in Sacramento, to Volunteers of America, just to name a few. These are great organizations to donate your time or money to, as the impact is local and the rewards are many. Hi, and happy Thanksgiving. Today, my gratitudes are many. I am grateful for water, the element that creates and sustains all life, a complex yet simple molecule. Finally, it rained, and last night, the sky opened up, and it poured so loudly as if the heavens, Mother Earth, and all heartache and loss felt around the world collectively cried for the loss so many have endured throughout California from the devastating wildfires. It woke me from my sleep last night just before 3 a.m. I lay there silently weeping my own tears for all Californians, for our beautiful state, and for the arrival of much needed water. I'm grateful for the firefighters, emergency responders, and all who have tirelessly fought the countless fires that have ravaged our beautiful state. Thank you to the families who sacrificed their loved ones to this service, to the aid workers and communities near and far who came together to help our fellow neighbors. Thank you. Today, while many of us enjoy our warm homes, time together with family and friends, and setting tables with far more food than we could possibly eat in one meal. Don't forget to take a moment or two to stop and be truly grateful for all the abundance in your life, from the simple to the extraordinary. I wish you all a very blessed and thankful Thanksgiving.